Moving it now to the Des Moines Buccaneers. They have undergone a fair share of changes over the last couple of years. From new ownership to this year, bringing in a brand new head coach and Gene Riley. The Bucks have won four Clark Cups, with the most recent one being in 2006. Since then, it's really been bleak for the team. However, this year, they're showing that they're trending in the right direction. It'd be hard to definitively say the Des Moines Buccaneers saw playoffs in the deck of cards heading into this season. We were optimistic. Um, I'm not sure, you know, when we got off to a pretty hot start this year, we kind of knew that in the back of our minds that it was a possibility, but uh, we also knew that time, time would play itself out and we'd see where we ended up. The team hung around despite a testy month of March that saw just two home games the entire month. And for the second time in 12 years, the Bucks are heading back to the playoffs. We knew that if we had a good start to the year, put ourselves in a good position at the end, uh, that we, if, we were, if we were playing our best hockey, we should have a chance, and it's going to be tough for other teams to stop us. It was an early exit the last time the Bucks made the postseason in 2017. Yeah, we only got one game here, and uh, I think we had two in Sioux City. And that was it, a 3-0 sweep. Scooter Bricky and Reed Lebster were the only two current Bucks on that 2017 team. Yeah, yeah, it motivates you even more, honestly. You know, we're trying to pass our information on the other guys. You know how much it hurts, and you don't want to be going home this early. So the Bucks have an offensive threat in Matt Brown, who is top 10 in goals this year and leads the USHL in shorthanded netters. And beyond that, the team is running off the motivation of bringing playoff hockey back to Des Moines and reestablishing the Bucks in the USHL. We just have much more firepower now, and uh, it's exciting. The fans here are great, so we've kind of just wanted to do it for the fans and the organization and bring the organization back to where it should be like it was back in the day.